Hello queens and welcome to World Vegan Month. It's Queen of Queen She Me and today we're going to be making a vegan spicy jambalaya. Oh my gosh you guys, so hearty, so good. And I'm telling you this tofurkey sausage, I'm telling you guys, was a game changer. And then oh, the vegetables, oh my god something look delicious so these were all the ingredients that I use don't worry I'll have everything listed down below for you in the description box as well as the vegan cookbook that I will be using this whole month so we're gonna start out by prepping our vegetables you're gonna need a stock of celery pretty much you're gonna slice that down and you're just gonna pretty much chop all your vegetables as you guys see me doing here Next, you're gonna need one bell pepper. I decided to use the green one. Um, I, next time, I will be using a red and a green bell pepper, but you know, all to your liking. And all I'm doing here is, again, I'm just prepping my vegetables to chop them down. We're not slicing, but we're actually going to chop everything. And now on to my favorite. Of course, we're gonna need one whole onion. Oh my gosh, who doesn't love onions? Onions always, to me, just give that extra flavor to any good dish that you're making for you, your loved ones, or even your friends. If you're wondering where I got those little dishes from, I actually got them for a dollar at Dollar Tree in a four pack. So moving on to a nonstick skillet, heating up some extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna be making these original sausage in the Italian version. These are Tofurky, that's the brand. They're an excellent source of protein, no cholesterol, low saturated fat, and you can perk up your pasta. I'm telling you guys, it has sun-dried tomatoes, it has basils in it, and of course, you guys, these are very hearty. So you're going to place these in the skillet. I used about two of the tofurkey sausages, and again, these are the Italian ones. So I'm placing them again in my nonstick skillet, and I'm going to let them cook on each side for about... I believe two to three minutes if I'm not mistaken but again everything is sped up in this video but again just watch them again this is not actual meat this is actual vegan so just make sure so that way you do not burn your actual sausages so I'm gonna flip them oh my gosh don't they look good they look just like sausages I'm telling you kids would not know the flavor was actually really really good this is my first time having these and I definitely will be using these more often in a few more of my future recipes and then this is what it looks like when they're done cooking Using the same skillet, we're gonna take some more of the extra virgin olive oil, and now we're gonna saute all of our vegetables that we just previously chopped. So our onion, oh my gosh, look at how it's just sizzling in there, delicious. And then we're gonna add our celery, oh my gosh, and our bell peppers. And then of course, we're gonna add in some of our spices in a second, but you really just wanna saute your um, vegetables for about, I would say three to four minutes, because you have to remember we are making jambalaya, so we're gonna be combining all all of our ingredients in a little while so now we're going to take our seasonings as you guys see here and i did use cayenne pepper i don't believe the recipe called for that but oh my gosh and these diced tomatoes these roasted garlic diced tomatoes game changer these were my first time using these i discovered these in walmart and i said oh my gosh these will give so much flavor and they did you guys so i'm just going to combine everything and let this simmer on its own i believe for about 10 minutes that's just my preference i'm not a quick cook i like everything to simmer and kind of marry so now we're going to move into a larger non-stick skillet you guys and don't judge me this is my ride or die gram gram and we're going to take some more by olive oil drop those vegetables in there oh my gosh it looks so good it's making me hungry right now just doing this voiceover and we're gonna just let that saute and then we're gonna remember add in our sausages so yes look at that <laughs> bang it it looks so good and then i use brown rice now 
listen to me i will use white rice if you want a sugar shorter cooking time but for me i prefer brown rice so now using vegetable broth you're going to use one whole container pretty much of that this was my first time actually measuring it out for whatever reason but the recipe calls for three cups but um you just see here that it's going to pretty much use the entire container so again, if you're gonna use white rice, it's only gonna take about 20 minutes for it to cook. And then if you use brown rice, it's gonna take 45 minutes for your actual jambalaya to finish cooking. So just keep that in mind, just a preference of mine, but yeah. So now we're gonna add in again that third cup and we're gonna add in this whole kernel corn. And yeah, I'm telling you guys, flavor it up and then we're gonna add one bay leaf I got this pack from the fresh market you guys and then I did go in and add some more of the Himalayan pink salt so again for me it was 45 minutes but if you use white rice your cooking time will only be 20 minutes so 45 minutes later you guys this is our vegan spicy jambalaya check it out does that not look good <laughs> So it was three of us this night. It was me, Alexa, and my mom. She was visiting. And I was so happy I could fix this for her on her last night here. And oh my gosh. Mom said it was a hit, you guys. And I was so happy. Babe loved it. I even loved it. And I mean, it's just one of those nice hearty meals for these, you know, now cold months. You know, everyone's wanting to be warm and full. And look at that. It's healthy. I mean, hearty. You got your tofurkey sausage in there. You got your vegetables. You got your corn. You got your rice. I'm telling you, then you have your spices, you know, to give you that flavor and i'm telling you it was delicious so i hope you guys use this recipe you guys if you do please comment down below let me know what other recipes you look forward to seeing in the future for our world vegan month series here on my platform and i look forward to seeing you guys soon queens thank you guys so much and be blessed Mwah!